Okay, this is something that's been bothering me since the days leading up to Kata. Why have characters like Crassus, Cadgar, and especially Ronin that have been directly tied to the Black Dragonflight and Deathwing not been present at all in Cataclysm? And please, <laughs> don't tell me Ronin's doing his own thing in Dalaran. His mind was controlled by Deathwing for almost an entire book. Dude, he's been totally doing his own thing in Dalaran. <laughs> If you tell me, don't tell you. One of, the, uh, one of the issues we struggle with in making the game is that uh, there are a lot of characters and we want players to kind of remember the characters and we want to really set up big characters that you remember. And we, uh, we don't want to have the idea that, oh, you have to read a whole novel to know this character or why this character uh, you know, doesn't like this. We try and make sure that the games do stand alone. So a lot of times we'll have stories in the novels that feel like they should kind of continue in the game, but we opt not to put that in the game because then we'd have to t try and catch everybody up to a novel that they haven't read. So I, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty valid point, and it's also kind of hard to work into the game for everybody that has not read the novels. Is that all of Moonguard? Uh, praise so <laughs> um, So whatever happened to the uh, crown of Menethil? or is that something that we're ever going to find out about? Uh, Terranus' crown. Yeah, uh, the one that fell off his head when Arthur stabbed him. Legendary loot drop. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, good. We're gonna make it a legendary loot drop. <laughs> I, I have no idea who would have it, who would drop it. We gonna take some notes. Did it. Thanks. Got it in my head. Um, Mr. Metzen, just first before I ask my question, I have to let you know that uh, my name is Emizel from Maelstrom. Uh, both the Scarlet March and the Royal Strauss Forum Dynasty are inspired by you and salute you. So thank you very much for everything that you do. Thanks, man. Thank you. Um, <laughs> no problem. My question is regarding uh, Tarande. I'm kind of wondering, um, she's been she was strong in the past, a strong female figure, a leader. She stepped up to the task when she was asked, and then it kind of fell off. Um, during, during a Burning Crusade, during Wrath, during Cataclysm, she kind of just, I mean, at this point, she's Malfurion's arm candy. What's going on? Oh, come on. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, good point. Um, I've been seeing this on uh, forums quite a bit, too. Uh, let me just say this, before, the quest line in Nagrand, in Burning Crusade, there was no thrall at all in WoW, right? Like, you was standing there, maybe he gave you the, what was it, the uh, Rage by Chasm quest, right? There was no thrall at all. And I like this guy. It took an expansion or two, or whatever, to finally get to him and start, you know, really bringing his story off. Uh, I love Tyrande, right? Um, I, I had a blast riding her in Warcraft 3. Um, We just haven't, uh, we just haven't gotten to her yet. Um, but kind of like, you know, like Dave's, uh, you know, Sylvanas story, uh, you know, and the whole, you know, uh, Alex's, you know, Silver Pine quest line. Um, every one of these characters is going to have their day, and I, I love this character. Uh, and, and in no way do we intend to just make her Malfurion's arm candy or whatever. It's, that's ridiculous. This is one of the fiercest, most badass, elegant, you know, creatures in the world, as far as I'm concerned. So it's just a matter of time for a lot of these characters. Some of them. Because of the comic book, you know, Varian got his day in the sun, and we'll have more. And, you know, certain other of these characters, it's just, it just depends on what phase of development we're in, what big ideas we're driving at any given time, but, like, totally, Toronto's going to get uh, some love, uh, and not just going to make a comment here, but... <laughs> family, just, family show. It's on TV right family now. Show. Good. Family show. Uh, but uh, Jaina Proudmore, on a similar vein, needs to have a moment. She's getting her moment. We got it's a coming. novel coming out. She's going to be much more active. We, we love these characters. We're going to bring them around. And, We're going to bring them around. And guys, here's the thing, right? I, like I, I see this all the time on forums. And people are, uh, like, we'll get clobbered, right? That we're, we're underserving these characters, or these ones are Mary Sue's, or these ones, or whatever, whatever, whatever. It's all coming. We love these characters. They are all dynamic. And we have plans for all of them. Um, we just can't execute against everything at, at any time. Right. 
Um, so, you know, no one loves these characters like we do, you know, so we want to serve them all. We want them to be compelling, you know, even, even when we get into thematic areas like Thrall, right? So I'm reading a lot of this stuff and people are going, when did he become such a wuss? You've ruined Thrall. Like, it ain't over yet. <laughs> right? He's, but brother's going through some rough times. But the champion times are on the way, right? So you, bear with us. We have a plan, you know? Um, we love these characters, uh, you know, as much or more as you guys do, and uh, we want to be respectful of all of them. So just kind of saying that off the top of my head. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, first of all, Chris, I don't know what kind of shift in the universe happened whenever you come out on BlizzCon wearing an Alliance hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> want to see a magic trick? I'm gonna get right out of this. You ready? For the horn! <laughs> I almost got out of it. All right. uh, look, did the doom hammer burn your hand when you put on the Alliance shirt? A little bit. Uh, That's not my question, by the way. I'm just saying that. Okay. Let's just move right past that. Okay, that's awesome, because I have a really important question, okay? I waited on the other panel. Here's my question. The panel, this panel, has said that Pandarians have no sense of hatred. That Pandaria is one in a sense of chi and positive energy. So how does it make more sense for a Pandaren to be a warlock and not a druid? Are they making... Are, I, I, didn't, I didn't think warlock, warlock was in there. They're not allowed to be death knights, paladins, or help me out, guys. I, Is it warlocks? All no. right, I'll, I'll tell you this. No, it's not. No, it's not. It was. I'll, I'll tell you this, tr true druids, or not. I, 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 Where's the there fact three. checker? There were three. There were three. Copeland, go. Uh, what I would say is, if that's true, I don't like it. I typically get overruled when it comes down to game design, right? They're, they're trying to balance out forces. War, Warlock's a little weird. I was pretty sure Warlock was out. I can't stand so. that chisel. But what I would say is, in certain of these classes, Death Knight, Warlock, right? These are affected classes, right? Death Knights aren't necessarily choosing this life. You, you know what I want to do when I grow up? I want to become a slavering, rotting Death Knight. That sounds like fun, Sparky. Warlock 2, uh, I, I, if it goes that way, I'm just riffing off the top of my head, these are very, I, I, I guess you can argue, while well, Pandarans don't necessarily have, they just don't vibe on hate. It's not, it's, not, it's not impossible that they would hate. Do they hate injustice? Do they hate to see starving people on the side of the street? Probably. It's not that they are without hate in, in Toto. It is that, Toto! Uh, it's that they, they choose other. So, they're they're I mean, aware of the consequences of hate more so than any other. I don't really care totally. about them being warlocks as much as I care about them not being druids. You want to bear a bear for them. Be, okay, that's the thing. That's the excuse they gave. Well, what would bear form be? They're already a bear. It would be bear. Yeah, so, that sounds if you did this, okay, shady. like through meditation, they're able to like unlock a primal form and they're able to attack as a bear. That's not difficult to explain through as much as... Warlock. I'm feeling you right now. <laughs> well, we'll you know, Monday morning, we'll run down the hall and we'll yell at the design dudes and go, hey, we'll see. We'll see I, how I don't happens. know, I, but I don't know. The timeline, uh, Pandaria disappeared behind the mists before the Sundering. I don't know if they really had the druids coming. I don't know if Cenarius was around there teaching them to be druids. That is a very good point, I don't think David. it was happening. Very good point. We have a fact check happening. Data is, is being poured onto the stage right now. What's the verdict? She was confirming uh, the warlock thing. They can't be warlocks. Yeah. Uh, right. Druids. Druids is the question. Yeah. 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 I say, I, I still think druids are out. That might change, but I think, I think no druids. All right. Thank you. Guys. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you for your question. Good question. Hey, don't gentlemen, uh, idiot tank, doom all horde. Uh, my question concerns the demon slash dragon soul. With Thrall and the heroes going in and taking it 
out of the timeline. Alex Straza was never captured, which means most of her mates are still alive. Ronan never went on a quest to save her, which means he never got redeemed and became head of Dalaran. And of course, the aspects are still at half power. Go. That was very well thought out. And your observations are airtight. Watch how it plays out. Thank Bear you. with us. Thank you. We watch a lot of Star Trek too, so we get this whole time thing. No problem. No problem. Uh, yes, my question is about Arthas's mother, Liane Amenethel. She was mentioned in the Rise of the Lich King novel. And then uh, once in Warcraft 3, he killed his father. Um, there's, I mean, there's never any mention about what happened to her either. Does, is he a mama's boy? He didn't kill her? Or did he have no mercy and kill her as well? Or did she just die of old age? Because Art Tenerus was pretty old at the same time. Uh, I, I think that we have not officially made that up. Um, you know, uh, what, what I mean is we haven't crafted her fate. Like, I, I don't think anyone around the office knows. I don't think we've even talked about it. Um, although my impression of Warcraft 3, I think it works better if she had died at some point before the fall of Lordaeron, right? Well, you know, of, of something, right? We just haven't, we just haven't covered it. Uh, because killing Terranus it's, it's pretty striking, right? Um, we didn't see his mom, we didn't see, you know, I just think it diminishes that moment if he just goes on this Charlie Manson spree. So I think probably a classier solution would be that somehow she's just out of the picture years earlier. Or think about it. you kill her and get a legendary crown. <laughs> so probably you're saying that she not. died previously to the corruption of Arthas? I, I mean, I'm, my sense of it is that that's probably the right way to play it, ultimately balancing all these ideas, uh, but we'll, we'll continue to talk about it. Thank you. Good question. 